Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. tell you about the coronavirus. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses named for their round shaped outline. It causes illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. A novel coronavirus is a new strain that has not been previously identified in humans. Almost everyone gets infected with a coronavirus at some point. Usually the symptoms are mild and last for just a few days. In rare cases, a coronavirus infection can lead to a more serious problem like pneumonia or MERS, a severe infection of the respiratory tract that hasn't been found outside the Arabian Peninsula. SARS is also serious but hasn't been seen since 2004. At the end of 2019, a new type of coronavirus began to make people sick in China. A novel, meaning new, coronavirus was recently detected in Wuhan City, Hubei Province, China, and is causing an outbreak of respiratory disease. On February 11, 2020, the World Health Organization named the disease Coronavirus Disease 2019, abbreviated COVID-19. This virus came from animals and moving to people, probably at a market selling live seafood and animals. It causes fever, cough, and trouble breathing. It can be more serious in some people, especially if they were already sick. Doctors believe that such coronaviruses spread from person to person through air by sneezing or coughing or by close contact such as shaking hands. Most often you need to be close to the person within six feet for it to spread this way. When someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth into the air, which may contain virus. Maintain at least three feet distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. If you are too close, you can breathe in the droplets, including the COVID-19 virus, if the person coughing has the disease. Avoid touching eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up viruses, including the coronavirus. Once your hands are contaminated, your hands can transfer the coronavirus to you if you touch your eyes, nose, mouth, or ears. From there, the coronavirus can enter your body and can make you sick. Anyone can get sick from the coronavirus. Coronavirus infections are the most common in the fall and winter. Treatment for most coronavirus infections involves easing symptoms until the infection runs its course. More serious infections may need treatment in a hospital or other care facility. Chinese health officials have reported tens of thousands of cases of COVID-19 in China, with the virus reportedly spreading from person to person to parts of that country. COVID-19 illnesses, most of them associated with travel from Wuhan, also are being reported in a growing number of international locations, including the United States. Some person to person spread of this virus outside China have been detected. The United States reported the first confirmed instance of person-to-person -person spread with this virus on January 30th, 2020. Entire cities have been quarantined or closed off due to slow the spread of this disease. The greatest risk of infection is for people who are in China or who have recently traveled to China. People who have been in close contact with someone who is infected are at high risk. This includes healthcare workers who care for people with COVID-19. What are the symptoms of coronavirus infections? The symptoms depend on the type of coronavirus and how serious the infection is. If you have a mild to moderate upper respiratory infection, such as the common cold, your symptoms may include runny nose, headache, cough, sore throat, fever, and not feeling well overall. Some coronaviruses can cause severe symptoms. The infections may turn into bronchitis and pneumonia, which can cause symptoms such as a fever, which may be quite high if you have pneumonia cough with mucus, shortness of breath, and chest pain or tightness when you breathe and cough. Severe infections are more common in people with heart or lung diseases, people with weakened immune systems, infants, and older adults. There is no specific antiviral treatment recommended for COVID-19. People with COVID-19 should receive supportive care to help relieve symptoms. For severe cases, treatment should include care to support vital organ functions. People who think they may have been exposed to COVID-19 should contact their healthcare provider immediately. Steps to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 if you are sick. People who are mildly ill with COVID-19 are able to isolate at home during their illness. You should restrict your activities outside your home. 
except for getting medical care. Do not go to work, school, or public areas. Avoid using public transportation, ride sharing, and taxis. Separate yourself from other people and animals in your home. If possible, you should stay in a specific room and away from other people in your home. Also, you should use a separate bathroom if available. Animals, you should restrict contact with pets and other animals while you are sick with COVID-19, just like you would around other people. You should not share dishes, drinking glasses, cups, eating utensils, towels, or bedding with other people or pets in your home. After using these items, they should be washed thoroughly with soap and water. Monitor your symptoms. Wear a face mask. You should wear a face mask when you are around other people, such as sharing a room or vehicle, or pets, and before you enter a healthcare provider's office. If you are not able to wear a face mask, for example, because it causes trouble breathing, then people who live with you should not stay in the same room with you, or they should wear a face mask if they enter your room. Standard recommendations to prevent infection and spread include washing your hands often with soap and hot water for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom, before eating, if hands are visibly dirty, and after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If soap and water are not readily available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Cover mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing. Washing your hands with soap and hot water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, which kills viruses that may be on your hands. Thoroughly cooking meat and eggs, clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces using a regular household cleaner or wipe. Stay at home when sick. Avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illnesses such as coughing and sneezing. The Center for Disease Control, the CDC, does not recommend that people who are well wear a face mask to protect themselves from respiratory diseases, including COVID-19. Face masks should be used by people who show symptoms of COVID-19 to help prevent the spread of the disease to others. The use of face mask is also crucial for health workers or for people who are taking care of someone in close settings at home or in a healthcare facility. The COVID-19 stories we hear most about the news are victims of COVID-19, but the vast majority of cases have been mild. If you are feeling overwhelmed by the news, consider limiting how much you let in. Instead of cable news and social media, stick to sources like the World Health Organization. The World Health Organization is a specialized agency of the United Nations that is concerned with world public health. It was established on Wednesday, April 7th, 1948. They'll give you the big picture, not just the scary snapshots that make the headlines. They're organizing experts from all around the world to get this coronavirus under control. It's completely normal if this situation makes and or made you a little anxious. Talk to a trusted adult. They can help you put your feelings into perspective. Also, don't panic. Stressing over this won't make it any better, so do what you can to protect yourself. Coronavirus doesn't care where you're from or what's your background. So don't let anyone turn this into an excuse to target someone based on how they look. Working together is how we'll beat this virus, so let's stand up for our neighbors. Thanks for watching this Adventurous Kids episode. What did you learn today? Adventurous Kids! Adventurous Kids! What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous Kids! Adventurous kids! Adventure. Adventure.